City Manager Paul Arevalo, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. Now, for those who don't know, you were the former finance director, so you know a lot about the budget and what goes into it and how the city comes about and comes together and decides what's important. And you have been a part of a lot of these fiscal management policies that have helped keep West Hollywood a very financially stable city. Why is the city doing so well compared to other cities in the state? The city of West Hollywood is very fortunate to have a very strong economic base, one being located on the west side. We're uh, located by affluent communities. We also have a very vibrant uh, business uh, industry here in the city of West Hollywood. We have restaurants, we have hotels. Uh, we're a destination place, and that's been uh, a very fortunate um, foundation for the city of West Hollywood. The hotel tax is a huge source of revenue for the city. How do you keep visitors coming back and interested in visiting here? A number of things. One is West Hollywood is a boutique city. It offers a variety of uh, amenities to our hotel guests. We also have phenomenal hotels. We've got great product. Um, our, our hotels are well maintained. Whether you're staying at the Ramada Inn on Santa Monica Boulevard or the Sunset Marquee, which is one of our more exclusive hotels here in the city of West Hollywood. We have the London, we have uh, the Andaz, we have Sunset Towers, we have great properties that the city of West Hollywood is, is proud to showcase. We also have owners that have um, invested in those properties. Uh, the, uh, we have a number of uh, properties that are managed by Outrigger and the owners of those properties have a, a strong maintenance program so they're constantly putting money into their product which is what the customers demand. And how do you get those business owners involved in communicating about the budget because it affects them and having their input I feel like would be very important. How do you get that conversation going? We have a number of very strong business improvement districts um, ranging from the Chamber of Commerce to the Sunset Strip Business Association. We have the Avenues of Art and Design. We also have the uh, Visitors uh, and Marketing Bureau. And these are real strong hubs of uh, business communities and they're specific business communities. They have targeted areas, but they look at the city from a holistic perspective. So their input is welcome. Uh, they're very vocal. We hear from them on a regular basis. Uh, whether it's a snapshot of a, a pothole or a, a, a broken tree grate or just an idea of a business to attract the city of West Hollywood. Um, they're, they're not shy. Um, city Hall is accessible and they contact us on a regular basis. Do you feel that's the same with residents? Do you hear from them as often? How do you get someone who lives in West Hollywood involved with something like the budget that may seem over their head or may seem unaccessible to them. West Hollywood's a unique community in that people are very passionate about the city. Um, uh, one, one person once said that people in West Hollywood, they act like they own the city, and that's a good thing because this is their city. They're very prideful. They, they love the community. They love um, their neighborhoods. They love their businesses. Uh, we hear from them on a regular basis, um, whether it's at council meetings or on, uh, through the internet, through emails, or through tweets. Um, we, we get a lot of feedback from our community. For the budget process, we're going old school and new school at the same time. We're doing online surveys. We're going to do um, some Twitter chats on the budget. Uh, tonight, we're hosting a budget fair where we're welcoming all of our residents, all of the stakeholders in the city of West Hollywood to come in and meet their staff, meet the departments, look at the creative programs that we're doing, and to share with us their ideas for how we can do more. Over the next two years, the operating budget has a lot of goals. Is there anything in particular that you're excited about that you're most looking forward to? When we had the kickoff meeting with staff, uh, there were a number of areas that I told them to focus on in their budget, and whether it's new initiatives or to highlight them. One is technology and innovation. Uh, the council, the incoming mayor, the community, really is a hunger for greater innovation, innovation um, from the city. We are leaders in terms of utilizing technology, but there's other areas where we can be cutting edge and really be outliers in terms of the local government. So we're going to be looking at, at that particular area. 
we can always do more with arts and culture. Um, we have a, a phenomenal administrator, Andrew Campbell, who heads our uh, arts and cultural affairs uh, functions. Uh, the community, uh, whether it's the residents, the business community, the visitors, all aspects of our, our community love the arts and they want to see more arts. Um, we're seeing a greater demand on social services, so we will be um, uh, more aggressive with our social service funding, targeting uh, some of the homeless challenges that we see right now in the city of West Hollywood. Um, another area is expanding our community engagement, uh, creating a dialogue that we're not only pushing information out, but we're also pulling information and that we're listening and being more responsive to uh, the conversation that's occurring within our city. Um, lastly, we have uh, excitement in terms of new development happening in the city, uh, uh, commercial activity that's occurring up on Sunset with a new hotel and some re mixed use residential being built. But we also have significant uh, uh, new residential development occurring on the east side of, of West Hollywood along uh, La Brea, Santa Monica and Fountain. And the next year we're going to spend our time welcoming our new residents to the city of West Hollywood. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And enjoy the fair. I will. Thank you very much.